Lately, everyone I know or care about has been talking quite a bit about deleting Facebook, or at least toying with the idea. I could definitely see toying with the idea. I mean, I, for one, am finding Facebook is more of a burden nowadays, more of an annoyance. I try to write an essay, I'm checking it all the time, and it's just not really benefiting my life anymore. It's also kind of weird because like everything you write on Facebook is like etched into the stone of the internet. So even if you delete it, it's still there. Yeah, like people can always, employers can look that up. People can always look up what you have written. And you know, like Facebook had this new thing this week where it revamped its system once again. And when they did it in the fall, there was a lot of like petitioning where get the old Facebook back, get the old Facebook back. And I was really annoyed by these people. Like Facebook will evolve people, but I sincerely don't like the new Facebook now. Well, Heather Christie on a word on the street segment went around campus to put a voice to all the buzz around campus of us young people hating Mark Zuckerberg and his creation. Heather. Facebook, Fbook, Crackbook, and Faceplant. These are some of the names that everyone's favorite and or not so favorite social networking site gets called. But for all its infamy, would any of you actually ever delete the thing? We hit the streets with Queen TV's word on the street to find out the answer to that question. Do you personally have Facebook? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. I do have Facebook. <laughs> Of course. Of course. And would you like? What do you use Facebook for? Well, for instance, today it's because it's St. Patrick's Day. The biggest thing is the events, right? Like, it's it's a night for me to go out, and I simply just go on Facebook. I check the events, and I'm just like, okay, well, this, these are my choices. Like, let's make it happen. Uh, just to talk to friends. I use it to talk with my friends, see what's going on for the night, and promote our projects such as Pay It Forward Kingston. Uh, to catch up with friends, to see what everyone's up to, and just. To generally find out what everyone's doing these days. I'm like, I guess just like getting messages from friends. People don't really use email so much anymore for really quick messages. Also it's a way just to communicate with others about like qu quick notices. It's in a way like what a text message or a phone call would do. You can do that over Facebook as well. Now I'm wondering, would you ever delete your Facebook account? It, it's tempting, like during exam time for instance, right? It's like, it's, it's one of the biggest distractions. So I'd be, I'd be tempted to, but at the end of the day, I don't think I'd be capable of doing so. Probably not. No. no. God, no. No. <laughs> How come? Uh, I would miss out on a lot if I deleted Facebook. Everything happens on Facebook now. I mean, ultimately in life, yeah. At, at this point in my life, I don't really see a reason to. When, like, what would, so ultimately in life you would, when, when would that, when do you know that that moment will have come? Uh, I, I don't really have an answer. I mean, it's kind of like something like uh, a piercing, you know? You sort of think when you're an adult, you're not going to have it anymore, but... Um, I don't know if that's actually the case. Mm, it, it would be a very tough decision, I can imagine. But um, have you heard that employers are sometimes um, asking like job applicants to bring up their Facebook profile so they can troll through their pictures um, and like see incriminating evidence? Like, does this worry you? Oh, I, I've thought about this many times before. One of my profile pictures actually has me has me uh, drinking a beer. Um, I don't care. Like, I, I understand from a company's perspective like why it's m more of a hazard, but. As a, as a summer student of four months, like, come on now, like, it's not the end of the world that one of your summer students is drinking beer in a picture, like, I understand where they're coming from, but, uh, but I'm not going to hide it or change it just, just for a summer job. Um, you know what, I think that's kind of creepy, an invasion of privacy, and what you do on your own time is your own problem, it doesn't mean you're unprofessional whatsoever, so... I would go with no, that it doesn't bother me. It does scare me, but I've made my profile super private because of that. Okay. So I've, I've kind of protected myself against that, and I just, I don't know, I'm not really ashamed of ev anything I've done, so I don't think that I have anything to worry about right now. I mean, I understand why it could be worrisome to some people. I guess it would depend what you have on your Facebook profile. I guess sort of more like the kind of career that I'd be going into. I don't think that the things I would have on Facebook would be particularly incriminating. They might actually be helpful. True to its more popular nickname of Crackbook, it sounds like a lot of us are going to need some serious social networking rehab if we're going to get off the computers and into the real world. None of us are willing to give Facebook up. Heather Christie for Queen's TV, back to the studio.